What's up, Wayne Barron here with Artifacts.net, and once again we're inside of Adobe Premiere Pro, and this is lesson number three. And in this lesson, we're going to be importing an MP3 file that we exported out of Adobe Audition CS6 with markers on it. And what markers are is that markers are whenever you go inside of your audio track and you add in markers where you want chapters like chapter one, chapter two, so forth and so on. But them markers can be imported inside of Adobe Audition. And so let's grab a hold of our Adobe Cloud Audio right here. And we're going to drag that into our audio um, timeline. And as you can see, each one of these are markers for our audio. And whenever we double click on it, it brings it up inside of our audio, audio sequence editor. You have these different markers and these right here allow a lot of really cool things to be done inside of Premiere. So let's go ahead and close all of that. Let's say that we wanted to add in. Okay, this right here is our marker number one. So let's say that we want to add in text. So I've got some text right here. I'll bring it up to right here. And so our track actually starts about right up in there. So then we drag it to right there. So now whenever our track runs, uh, we can actually find out where our track starts at and where it ends at. And in this case, our track actually runs to about right up in here. So it does not quite make it to that line. And that's where she stops at exactly. And so that is one good way or one good thing about having the markers on your audio clip whenever you import them inside of Adobe Premiere Pro CS6 is that it allows you to go in here and add in your text where you need your text to be at and when you need it to end and which adds in some really cool features inside of your video project whenever you release it. And so uh, this is Wayne Barron with DarkFX.net for lesson number three of Adobe Premiere Pro with Adobe Audition CS6 imported audio with markers. All right, y'all have a good weekend. Bye-bye.